Good morning my stitchy friends. It's a bright Sunday morning. Today I'm in a hustle and bustle. Everything's just busy busy in this house. So I finally, finally finished. Ha, huh, jellyfish go. Oh, there I have a brain, brain, brain. Um, I don't even know what to say about it. It just stopped for a while. <laughs> well, welcome to my channel, Stitcherella. Today I'm going to show you what I do to check. And it's not foolproof. You do, do miss stitches. In this video, we're going to check for the miss stitches. I am also going to do a wash and a wet iron for you. And then before I start, I just want to do a special shout out to someone. Uh, Whitney's mother, her name is Tracy. Hi Tracy, welcome. And thank you for watching my channel. My girls, Tracy is Whitney's mom and she loves joining us and she does not cross stitch. So I think Whitney, get your mom. If she struggles with her eyes, get Tracy a cross stitch. Even if it's a nine count and it takes very long, get Tracy a cross stitch. But Tracy, good morning. Alrighty then. Okay, so what I do to see if I miss stitches. It's not foolproof when I'm going to show you today. So it's going to look perfect. And guess what? When you finish washing it, then that snowflakes, they everywhere. Little white spots that wants to give you a pain where you really don't need one. So let's have a look here. I've got a lamp like this. Sorry, it's a bit cracked. It's very used. We live in Africa. We've got a lot of these. So when you put it on, it's quite bright, like so. So what I do with this, sorry if I blind you, but this is the only way I can show you. I'm going to lift this up. Now switch it on. So you can look like this. So what you do is, but sometimes I just skip this and I fill in the snowflakes. So when you do this, you can actually see your missed stitches. So someone told me um, on, the, on, on my Facebook page, Stitcherella Stamped Cross Stitch Group on Facebook, they told me they don't do my marathon jumps because they scared, <coughs> excuse me, they scared they miss stitches. Well, yeah, I was scared too, but I found a solution. Always find a solution. There's always an easier way. So if you're scared, you do that. Get yourself any type of lamp or light or, you know what also will work? You know when you diamond dot that um, it, it's like a A4, A3, whatever, it's a light board. That also works. But then you go through it like this. You go through and through and it does. Mine is now not, I don't see miss there. So then I go to the other piece. But sometimes I do miss them because I'm in a hurry to wash them. I don't take my time. I don't like taking my time. I just do things at the pace that's easy for me and that I love. Okay, so you do find when you find, I'm going to see if I can find a missing one. If you, um, if you pull it over the light like, like this and you miss the stitch, you'll immediately see the, let me see, is that missed? No, that's just thinly stitch. Uh, you'll see the ADA. The ADA consists of little straps. You'll see it's not worked. You can, you can clearly see if you missed one. It's a little blank spot that shines through. So this is an easy way for you to actually check. Just check, 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 check. We've got one right to go. I can't see any, but Murphy's Law, when I wash it, there'll be. That's always like that because I'm rushing through it. But that's just the way I do things. But if you want to be perfectly sure, you just do this and you will find them. Now, if you miss that little stitch, that, that's going to bug you that much. You can just go back to your pattern, find the color and put it in. I'll show you if I, wash, if I, if I miss, miss the stitch. Or you can, with your eyes, see what color you must put in there. Put it in there, it's done, dusted, and it is finished. Now, today I say goodbye to Jellyfish Girl because she's done and dusted. Club. And I'm going to finish her 
today on this video in clips so you can see the whole process I think I'm gonna carry buckets of water here um, normally it's much quicker I wash this one clean no marks under five minutes iron it done then I let it dry straight so uh, Leslie, Corin, Liz, you guys know my pet aid. And you teachers that follow me, you, you know my pet aid too. I do not like when people frame a piece with ironing it properly. I mean straight. I do not put something over my pieces. I, I, I will show you. I iron them straight. If you'd spend all that time on it. Why do you want to frame it crinkled? It does not look, you sp it, it, even if your work is magnificent, it looks not neat. So, yes. Now, I also want to show you something else on this. You're going to see when I iron, my marathon jumping. So, I do not care what it looks like in the back. Jump, jump like you just don't care, you know? That one. So, it looks like this. So what? Who is going to look at this? But when I do this, there's no bumps. It is smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Now, I've got another one, a dragon, that every little block was confetti. So, yes, it gets worse than this, but it's still fine. These long ones is the end. You know that bitter end when you close your spots? It's those. But this doesn't bother me. As long as you don't do this and you feel boop. Then you have a problem. But there's nothing. It's flat. Now, my stitchy friends, I'm going to prepare that water quickly and I'll be back in a second. So I'm back. I fetch one bucket of water. And while it lies, I'm not going to stop this video because it's going to be, I'm going to be gone for a minute and I'll fetching another soapy one. Just to show you how quickly I do this. So I fetch this bucket of water now. It is... The hottest water I could get out of my tap. So what I do with it is I squash jellyfish girl in there. This is so satisfying. Woohoo! There you go. Now she's going to lie in here for about a minute or two. But I'm going to be gone for a minute because I'm fetching the other water. I just thought it good to do this on camera. No time lapse. And I'm not switching the camera off. I want you to see this. So I'm leaving her here. I'm fetching our other warm bucket of water because by the time I'm back, this must almost be clean. And I'm just gone for a minute. Just hold on. Got the soap. I will bring the water. I am back. I'm going to do that once more. I'm doing that so that you can exactly see how much time this takes. So the water will get very, very mucky now. Look at this. It's purple. She's almost clean. I'm going to grab something out. I'm taking you on my journey with me.
Just got an old towel. So that's here. And the only thing I'm going to need is another bucket of cool water. But I'll show you now. So I have not switched this video off. You can see exactly what I'm doing. This overnight lying of it is not needed. I don't know where you get it. Or not you. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I don't know where the people get that you light overnight. This is clean. It's basically clean. But this is very hot. So, I just want to check it. But we're going to wash it now. This is just getting most out. Look at this. I am not kidding you. You see there's a bit of red. But that's all fine. That we're going to get out now with the soap. So this thing is very, very hot and it's scorching hot. Okay, I'm going to put it here. I took another bucket of hot water, like so. So this takes a bit more time because I'm getting everything around. And I use automatic washing powder. This is Omo. I put it in there and I can't stick my hand in there. I'll get three, third degree, I almost say three third degree burns my stitchy friends now there's the soapy water and i'm sort of washing everything around me as well i take this one out just don't want to touch that water it's hot okay so she's out now i took her out and you can see almost everything's gone it it, it is actually gone but i'm going to put her in soapy water for a little while not even a minute and after the soapy water, we just rinse it cold water and she's done. I got my old towel. I just want to go and get us some cold water. running around like a crazy person in this house i really want to do this in real time so i don't have to stop so you can actually see how easy this is okay let's have a look okay i just want to lift and see there you go look at this so this is how i check ah this is hot Okay, there you go. I'm doing it quick because I'm burning absolutely nothing left. So, some people on my previous videos, I do this. This is how strong I start and finish. You can do this with your stitches. And those parts that's so open and white, just rub it. If you have a problem anywhere, rub it. Nothing will happen to it. It is strong. Stitchy friends, this is strong. It's like a carpet. Look, if you do it right, nothing will happen to this. Okay, so she's clean. What we're going to do is the final rinse. So I don't burn my hands. So now we can <laughs> see. So she's clean. It's a final rinse and she's done. Ow, ow, ow. There you go. Let's move this hot water. Whew. I feel like I ran the marathon now. <laughs> I don't want you guys to sit here alone for too long. But it's important for you to see how quick this is. Normally when I do it in the basin or wherever I do it, the bath basin, five minutes tops it's done. Won't break. You see, it is a strong piece of art. There you go. She is finished. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain her quickly and then I'll show you properly. And then we can see if I've got some snowflakes around. Let's get most of it out. We're going to iron her after I've shown you how to towel dry her. We're going to immediately iron her. 
Yes, no jokes, immediately. Okay, let's put that there. So all towel, you can use any towel. I prefer to use all towels. Okay, I hope this one's big enough. Let's just see, so old. All right. She came out magnificent. There is no spots, nothing. This is not the whole. And you see, I checked and I've got, I can't see any skipped stitches. What a delight. Okay, so when you got it on your toe, with your hands, just re -pull, just pull it out like she should look. You know, because she's frumbled up. She's Just get her into the shape she should be. So with your hands, pull and drag and push. Get her into shape. Come on, lady. Get into shape. Oh, she looks cool. See how clean she came out. The hair doesn't have that stripe. You see, I properly pull and drag so I get the shape right. But she's 100% clean. She does not have one spot on her. And it looks like I don't have white snowflakes to fall. <laughs> what are you ladies and, and gentlemen up to this morning? Well, our load shedding schedule shifted again. So I'm running around like a crazy person and uh, yeah, school is tomorrow and the new school clothes is too long, the pants, so I need to work that on. But anyway, back to this. Now I have put her in the shape she is plus minus. What I do from the start, I start rolling her. Roll, 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 roll. Boom. So just make her straight again. So this is how you towel dryer. This is an important step because I do iron her immediately. I'm going to iron her now. Yeah, I'm going to show you. I'm going to iron her. So sorry if you shake around, but I need a bit of pressure to get her dry. So when you've got this, just push, squish, do whatever you need to do, what you think is going to make her the driest. Now I will show you the finished product. She is towel dry. Oh, I'm bumping you. Am I making you seasick? I'm sorry. She's towel dry, she's finished. The only thing she needs is if I find a snowflake to close that and ironing. But if I find snowflakes, I don't do them now. She, she, I iron her and after that I do them. Let me just have a look. I don't have one snowflake, so we are done with jellyfish girl. And in the drawer she'll go. There she is. Excellent. White, white. There is not a color that shouldn't be on her. On her. Look at this. I'm trying to get her so that you can see her. Let me see her. Okay, there's the white. Uh, let me just see. I'm trying to get it in fully. Look at the white. As if you want to see the white, but you'll see it now when I iron it. Well, it's white, white, white. So do you see? Pretty. I adore her. I love anything water. So my stitchy friends, what do you think of this? Easy, eh? I think so. Okay, I am going to stop this and get my iron. And we will iron her immediately. So, see you in a second. Did you friends? I am back. I plugged in my iron. I put it on the highest setting I can. I don't know how high your settings is higher than linen. So, this is my piece. And I'm going to test it here until I know the iron is hot enough. I think it's going to go a bit hotter. There you go. So, my iron is hot. It's not cool, it's not medium, it's hot. So, let's start with the back. There's a few things I can still cut off. So, after I iron it like this, I leave it to flat dry on a rack. And if you need to iron it again before you frame it, please do. So, yeah, you must always be 
Careful when you iron in the back because you can get hooked. So I go slowly over it and my iron is flaming hot. Here you go. And be in mind, this piece is not dry. It's only towel dry. Yeah, let me know what you think of this. This is my way and I won't change it for a thing. It's quick, easy and it works and it's not crinkle. I hate crinkled things. It's my pet hate. But I'm sorry if, if you don't. It's a personal thing. I just think you put all that work in and then you... <laughs> Frame it crinkled. No. Too scared to handle the thing. This is strong. There you go. I do the back properly and then I go to the front. This is a big piece. So it's going to take a few minutes. Now she was quite big. She's um, I think 80 or 90 by 45. So I think 80 by 45. So she's big. But you know what? She's finished. <laughs> Always a good feeling when, when one is finished. Got so many going, but another one's going to get going with the nine count. That's a good idea for your mom, Whitney. You hear me, Tracy? Get a nine count and just try. Get small ones. But in any way... You see, I, I iron directly on the, on the picture. And nothing happens. But yeah, something does happen. It goes straight. Yay! Okay, let's have a look here. Just, well, remember, that's not finished. I'm just doing the back first. You're going to see now the front. I'm going slow. So the heat is there. See how straight it is. Beautiful. <laughs> and of course, if I want to frame mine, I have to re iron because I just chuck them in. I think I tripped the power because my iron's off. Oh. Okay, now it's not tripped again. No. I'm stripping my power and I am recording, so let's iron quickly. <laughs> Alrighty then. So you see that I, I just iron straight on it. No issues at all. And now I must do the front. But just give me a second because my power trips the whole time. That's quite annoying. And I'm back. I'm so sorry about that. I can't exactly start over. I just need to tell you about this. It's very frustrating. With our power outages, the load shedding, our appliances doesn't last. So what happens is they break down very easily and they start tripping the power as if the load shedding is not enough. Well, another iron down the drain. I must actually show you there's eight irons standing here. It keeps doing it to them. It doesn't matter if you put a power surge plug on. It just doesn't matter. So, yeah, I'm quite upset. But in any way, let's sweep that under the carpet and finish this. Now I must just test this iron so I don't... It's my old one. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. So let's iron the front. See, I iron directly on top and it's hot. It is very hot. And I, this is when, if you made a bump or lump in the back, it will show. But it doesn't. It is smooth sailing here. I want to feel this. I want to get it now. It is on its warmest. That's why I bought the other one to get a warmer iron. So let's just do this. Alrighty then, let's go. Now you get the idea. So when you're done ironing it after you towel dried it, it is basically dry. I just lie it flat so it gets that resting time. And it's done. So this is the front, super smooth and great. So let's carry on. When it's dry you can iron it again, but this does help to flatten it out more if you do it immediately when you towel dry it. 
And uh, I don't, but like you see, this my iron is on its hottest. And I'm sure all over the world the irons are hot. So I, I iron just like this. I have tried the other ways. It does not make it straight. It does not do the same. This is my way. This is how I like to do it. And it's effective. Now, I'm, so, I'm actually so disappointed with this iron. Man, I want to have a heart attack. Jugs. But in any way, there's my piece. Tell me what you think. Well, I love it. And let's just, while I'm chatting to you. Now, my dear, dear Stitchy family, I am going to upload this video quick. And then I have to do a few other things, but I'm going to do that backstitch Sunday video in a bit. Just give me a second or two. I'm working around my power issues here. So it will be on. I was just very excited to do this one, so I did it first. There you go. She is done and dusted. Straight, ready to frame. But you who know me, she's getting rolled up and put in a cupboard. I hope you have a lovely Sunday. I'll see you a bit later in my Backstitch Sunday video. Lots of love, Stitcherella.